Self-Development with Tactics. So, today we're gonna have an audio only video and or episode. Yeah. <laughs> it is, it isn't that late to be honest. It's half past eight, but I should have been in bed or actually at sleep, sleeping uh, by eight. Quite. Um, because the more I'm gonna have to get up at four, fifth, well, hmm, four. 4.30, 4, 4 4.40, something like that. So actually uh, relatively early. And um, yeah, therefore we're going to go through some motivational quotes. You have never heard, but should, by the Inc.com site, um, which I've actually f forgotten quite about. You know, back in the days, I've really had a lot of videos around Inc.com articles, I guess, and also Business Insider articles and or CNBC Make It. This is a very great site indeed, but yeah, a very different collection of inspirational quotes, plus the reasons why they can actually make a difference in your life. <laughs> actually looking forward to them ex fucking explaining the, <laughs> the quote, but yeah. Um, the amazing thing is that these quotes don't even feature like the person that said them, or am I dumb? Well, anyway, I don't give a shit. Only a genius can do things his own way. You, you are no genius. What? Only a genius can do things his own way. You? Question mark. You are no genius. I worked a construction job on summer and kept questioning what I was told to do. The foreman finally, in no uncertain terms, said, set me straight. It's okay to reinvent the wheel. The wheel, yeah, the wheel, but only after you know how the current wheel works. Never assume you know better when you don't really know anything. Yeah, this is actually a really, really good thought there because I mean, especially when you haven't done the work and you don't know shit, don't try to act like you know shit. Yeah. The second one if you know, if you want to know how much you'll be missed when you're gone, put your finger in a bucket of water and then remove it. The hole that's left will be how much you're missed. <laughs> Actually a bit negative, but yeah, no one is irreplaceable. No one is irreplaceable, so we all are replaceable, therefore. No one, not even this guy. Instead of being depressed, Instead of being depressing, the thoughts that you're professionally replaceable is liberating. You may not leave a hole, but you can leave a mark on a person, a team, or a culture that lives on after you're gone. You may not be missed, but you can be remembered in the best possible way. Which, by the way, is something that I'm often focusing on as well. Because, yeah, you know, I just want to be remembered as a good person. I want to be remembered as a, as a memorable person. And not just be somebody that did something. And yeah, you know, I don't find that to be, you know, what, what life maybe should be about. You know, just being mediocre and doing something, which <laughs> might also be one of the reasons why I'm still having a podcast. You know, besides the fact that I enjoy it and it is some sort of therapy for me, to be honest. Um, well, yeah, you know, I, I just really am trying to make something, produce something, and or we'll create something that lasts a bit longer and then maybe can change things. And I really dearly hope that I've already been able to do so. Third, we all have limits. Almost no one reaches theirs. You definitely haven't. You could swim faster if a shark was after you. You could run faster if your child was in danger. You could work harder if the payoff was truly exceptional. What you think you can do is always, always is always, always less than what you can do if you really, really try. You always have a little more in you. Find your true limits and you may find that success is limitless. And I think one of the best ways to find your limits is by working out and to really see what it is like to go for failure. Because 
And this is just, I think, facts and, and also proven by studies that people don't really know where their limits are, you know, no matter how, you know, of course, if you're a really experienced trainee and if you have been working out for quite some time, you probably know your limits and know what it feels like to go for failure. But up to this place, you, you know, of course, don't know that. And a lot of people also misjudge that, like, okay, this is the last rep that I can make. But in the, but in the end, there is, like, just still something in the tank. And failure is also a pretty cool place to be in because you know, okay, you have done your best and it is enough to do your best. You know, you, you can't actually do better than your best. So it is all you can do to do whatever you want to do. The fourth one, the fourth quote, unless you're the lead dog of the sled, the view never changes. Following the crowd means living the same life as the crowd and you don't want that. No, you actually don't. There are two types of pain you will go through in life. The pain of discipline and the pain of regret. Discipline weighs ounces while regret weighs tons. Original to Jim Ron, the worst words you can say are, I just wish I had. Push yourself to do what you hope to do so you will never have to regret not having tried. The sixth fat, drunk and stupid is no way to go through life, son. <laughs> Gotta love Dean Warmer. Yes, Dean Warmer. I haven't overcome the stupid part, but I'm trying. So don't be fat. Good idea. Don't be drunk. Also pretty good idea. At least not all the time. And don't also be stupid. And I think that, you know, of course, some people might be saying like, okay, you know, don't be stupid. It's fucking bad advice because how can you do so? But I, I truly believe that we all know what not being stupid means. It just means, yeah, don't be fucking stupid. And we all know what stupidity is. And yeah. The coward dies a thousand deaths, the brave, but one. Original to Ernest Hemingway. Think about easing into a cold ocean. Every inch is excruciating. Dive in and it sucks big time, but then it's over. It's even worse to turn away from what scares you, because when you do, deep inside, a little piece of you withers and dies. Dive in, it's never as cold or as bad as you think. The eighth. Today's pain is tomorrow's power. The more you suffer today, the stronger you are tomorrow. Self-pity is self-defeating. Tomorrow's success is based on today's, on today's discomfort. Plus, willpower is like a muscle. The more you exercise it, the stronger you will get. Or it will get. And the easier it is to call on when the dedication and persistence make all the difference. And yes, you know, which is one of the reasons why I like taking cold showers. It is something that I don't want to do, you know. Also with working out from time to time, it is not something that I want to do. But I'm still doing it just because it is a habit. And suffering in one or the other way really makes you stronger. Um, even though, of course, you know, there's going to be some situations that I'm going to be completely fucked in. And I've also seen that in the past, um, you know, let's call it six months, I guess, you know, being in situations that really fucked with me mentally and which led me to thinking about, and also just preparing myself mentally for tough situations and tough things and, not only just in a physical way, even though I would say that preparing yourself in a physical way is going to do you good in the mental way as well. But yeah, the ninth, bravery means finding something more important than fear. Courage without meaning is just recklessness. Brave people aren't fearless. They've simply found something that matters more them, to them than the fear they are facing. Say you're scared to start a business, find a reason that has greater meaning than the fear, your family's future, your desire to make a difference, or your dream of a more fulfilled living, or of a more fulfilling life. When you find a greater meaning, you'll find the courage to overcome your fear. Do it or not, there is no try. Original to Yoda, philosopher and avant-garde sentence constructor, a boss once gave me what I thought was an impossible task. I said, okay, I'll try. He explained that I would finish as long as I didn't quit. Trying didn't enter 
didn't enter into it. Persistence was all that mattered. Often someone says, I'll try because it gives the person an out. Once the person says, I will, his or her perspective changes. What previously seemed insurmountable is now longer uh, is is no longer a matter of luck or chance, but of time and effort and persistence. When what you want to do really matters, never say I'll try. Say I will and keep that promise to yourself. The eleventh. Stop waiting for the right time, quote unquote. Success is a numbers game, the number of times you take a shot. You will never create the perfect business plan, never find the perfect partner, the perfect market, the perfect location, but you can find the perfect time to start. And that time is now. Guess what? Talent, experience and connections are important, but put your all into enough new things and some will work. Take enough shots and over time you'll grow more skilled, more experienced and more connected. And that will mean a greater percentage of your efforts will succeed. Take enough shots, learn from what didn't work, and in time you'll have all the skills, experience and connections you need. Ultimately, success is all about taking your shot over and over again. Sometimes you may win, sometimes you will definitely lose, but the more things you try, the more chances you have of succeeding. Put the power of numbers on your side, take as many shots as you can. There is no guarantee of success, but when you don't take a shot, there is a definite guarantee of failure. Totally the case and totally the truth and yeah, the 12th, resentment is like drinking poison and expecting the other guy to die. The same holds for bitterness and jealousy and dislike, let it go, if you don't, the only loser is you. It's gonna fuck you badly and I know that, guess what? The 13th one, the extra mile is a vast unpopulated wasteland. People say they go the extra mile but almost no one actually does. Most people think, wait, no one else is here, why am I doing this? That's why the extra mile is such a lonely place. That is also why the extra mile is a place filled with opportunities. Be early, stay late, make the extra phone call, send the extra email, do the extra research, help a customer unload or unpack a shipment, don't wait to be asked, offered. Uh, Don't be asked, offer. Every time you do something, think of one extra thing you can do, especially if other people aren't doing that one thing. Sure, it's hard, but that is what you what will make the difference. And over time, it will make you incredibly successful. Yeah, because of course, if you're doing something that somebody else is not doing, then um, what should it lead you but success? You know, what should it lead to but success? It's just a flesh wound. The Black Knight never never gives up and neither should you. Now is your turn. What has another person said to you that made a lasting impact? Question mark. Ask yourself and uh, yeah. I'm gonna sit down a bit. Um, I have once again set up my standing task. Yes, task, desk setup. Um, I do actually feel way better when I'm standing than when I'm sitting all day long. Which is something that's pretty interesting, but but anyway, I'm gonna end the episode there. So I wish you the health, the best health, wealth, happiness, and also success, and also hope that you're gonna remind yourself and you're gonna be, be remembered, which basically means your legacy and basically means just being a nice person and then being remembered as a nice person, which is a pretty fucking cool thing as well. Three other questions that I have for you are why are you here? What are you trying to change? And what is bothering you the most? Is three quiz Jones, hopefully gonna show you your purpose and maybe even a business idea, which once again is pretty cool. One last idea that I'm having for you is what could you essentially say to another person that is indeed going to change their life? Because I totally believe that we all can say something and we all can communicate something that's indeed going to change somebody's life, which is amazing if you think about it. But yeah, with that being said, I wish you the best. Please take care of yourself, your family members and all of your loved ones and of course friends. And um, yeah, hopefully we're going to see you next time. So bye bye.